I am back home, and you know what that means, that we can get back to doing some more Safe Moon themed videos for you guys. I'm excited to share some of the stuff with you. Just keep in mind that the Safe Moon Sunday AMA yesterday didn't have anything super big. We do have a brief recap for you. I know I normally would do the recaps, but I just I wasn't here, guys. I didn't really have an option to be able to do that. I had other stuff that was going on. I was out of town. Before I get into all this and the price analysis, let's go ahead and say a special shout out thank you to our Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Rem AG for being a higher tier supporter. There's a link in the description if you guys would like to check that out too. Please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, it's my own research, and I encourage you to do your own research as well. All right? So if we go ahead and hop on over here, we could see on the Twitter side, SafeMoon's official Twitter account said, here's the top six updates from yesterday's SafeMoon Sunday. We'll be back on November 28th. This says, SafeMoon Sunday recap. New wallet features announced. Multi-wallets, private key imports, and 24 seed phrases. Developments are completed. Version 2 update. Final quality checks in progress and will be a simple two-click consolidation process. New e-commerce product pipeline to be announced in 2022. That's actually pretty cool. New community product beta project group announced and launching. And the launch is coming soon for that. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. You guys got any fun theories? Feel free to tell us in the comments. SafeMoon Wallet download all-time high rocketing to 700,000 users in 60 days. And John Crony, the CEO, is out representing the SafeMoon Army. These are big interviews with Vice News, CNBC, and more. So as those articles come out, I will do the best that I can to get coverage on it and to help showcase it for you guys. Okay, so with that being noted, let's go ahead and hop on over here to the charts. And what we're looking at right now is on the daily. And as you guys can see, I had right here a bull pennant flag, and it's bullish because of the fact the entry going in was from the bottom here, then it consolidated down sideways. And this pattern for probability-wise suggests you're more likely to actually go up than to go down. And I mentioned that in my videos, and unfortunately, what we've had happen is that it has sort of pinched its way all the way to the last decisive move, and then you can see the volume started to, well, not so much the volume. The volume picked up more here on the November 10th, but the price did take quite a bit of a hit. It had to push down. We had a further push down and tried to make a little bit of a push up there, but went down, broke down below this key level on the Fibonacci sequence, which, which the Fibonacci sequence, sequence, I don't know why that was so hard to say, at the 0.618. And now that it's down below that, I'm seeing a pretty consistent level of support here. We're looking at that right around the 35 range, 35.074. Um, and that's right about where we're at right now, okay? So if we take a look at that, one thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that if this has a further continuation down, I'd be keeping an eye on a level of support here at the 0.786. We do have a candle here that had a formation pushing up off of that. We had a daily candle closure right here. There's right about in the same range. And... That's basically within the next region zone. There's not much else to compare to in this gap space. If it decides it wants to drop down, hopefully that will hold support. I am looking at Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is taking a huge hit. It's $60,494. I mean, you can see it's just dropping down a ton. Um, I don't know if this is going to below, go below $60,000 or not, but it is. it's not looking good, okay? So the rest of the market very well could take a hit because of what's going on with Bitcoin. And I think a lot of people are frustrated a tad bit with what happened with the Safe Moon Sunday. People were hoping version 2 is going to have more information coming out. Um, you know, we'd hear more details about the exchange, the blockchain. Instead, it was just kind of like, oh, it's imminent. It's imminent. They're in the QA. They're in the final phases. They're trying to make sure everything is totally ready, good to go. And then lo and behold, like... We just didn't get what we were really hoping for. But I just want them to do it right. You know, at the end of the day, I would rather them take more time and launch it and everything goes smoothly and it's okay. It doesn't collapse. It doesn't, you know, completely crush itself and it's un infeasible to be able to use SafeMoon anymore. Then for them to go ahead and just launch it because they're trying to meet the expectations of everybody in the community. And they're just kind of like, oh, crud, I hope nobody realizes this vulnerability or something like that, you know? Because then that'd be, that would be bad for everyone. So, yeah, 
as it is right now on the daily. I would not be surprised if this does keep going a bit sideways, even potentially going down to that level of support I was talking about. It, I would be shocked, frankly. If it dropped all the way down here back to like 22 or went all the way down back to like 136 or something like that, um, if it does something like that, then it is what it is. When version 2 comes out, I think volume's going to kick up and be crazy and the reflections will be really well and more than likely the price will go up. It's just my opinion. I'm, you know, Again, I'm not a financial advisor. But if this manages to go up, we're going to see a little bit of resistance here at 38.75, another little bit of resistance at 40, right about 44. Okay, And when the consolidation happens, this price is going to be affected tremendously and we'll have to just kind of cross that bridge when that happens. But that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. Are you bullish short term right now? Let's say leading up to the SafeMoon version 2. Right, So before that happens, are you bullish right now? Are you bearish? Do you think we're just going to kind of cruise along? Um, you know, something else, let's go ahead and go take a look at the volume. Volume feels like it's very low. Yeah, it's down. Volume's down 27.49%, only 7.109 um, million. So come on, we need more volume. We need some more good news. A little teaser of that full moon, by the way. People are trying to read into that a bit. All right, that's going to be it. Referral links in the description if you want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock. I am uh, hoping that if you guys are new or if you're returning, you just haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live and I will see you in the next episode.